What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about G.I. Joe Action Star Cereal. There are people out there who are huge G.I. Joe fans and collectors. I'm not one of those people. And I'm bound to get some G.I. Joe facts and trivia wrong. This isn't my area of expertise. The first G.I. Joe action figures were introduced by Hasbro in 1964. They were 12-inch figures, and they were really popular when they came out. Then around 1970, they brought out a new line of toys, and this one was popular because it introduced the famous Kung Fu grip on the action figures. In 1982, Hasbro decided to release a new, smaller version of G.I. Joe action figures. Maybe they saw the success of the Star Wars action figures. Anyway, this was called the Real American Hero series. And they wanted these characters to have backstories, so around this time they paired with Marvel to release a G.I. Joe ongoing comic book. Finally, in 1985, they realized they should just capitalize on the success, and they created G.I. Joe, a real American hero, the cartoon series. It was this year, 1985, that Ralston jumped onto the G.I. Joe bandwagon and released G.I. Joe Action Star Serial. Introducing G.I. Joe Action Star's brand cereal, a delicious part of this complete breakfast, crunchy stars that taste great. So, for all you Action Stars... Bye, Mom! G.I. Joe! Now, I don't have an unopened box of this stuff, so we won't be able to see or try the cereal. But it was basically just crunchy, multi-grain stars. Nothing too special. It kind of tasted like Lucky Charms. Rather bland, actually. But the cereal isn't worth talking about anyway. It's the boxes that makes this stuff special. They released two waves of boxes for this cereal. The first wave came out sometime around June 1985. You can tell this is one of the first wave of boxes because it says new on top. Now, there are three characters on this first set of boxes. This one here had Gung Ho on the front. And you can see it says Camo Action T-Shirt Offer. But then they have a special mission specific to Gung Ho. You can see his secret mission was to rescue a scientist named Lab Rat. And then you could cut out this molecular transformer and fold it together. Another character on this first wave of boxes was Shipwreck, seen here. And again, they have the same T-Shirt Offer. They offered that on all the first wave boxes. Now, Shipwreck's top secret mission was to disarm Destro's laser armory. And he had a thing called Vision Navigation Aid that you could cut out and fold together. And the last character on the first wave of boxes was Duke. Now, I don't own one of these Duke boxes, but you can see on the back here that Duke's special mission was to locate and destroy Cobra's radio relay station. And there was also a little cutout for that as well. So that was the first wave of boxes. Those boxes are easy to find on eBay. They're pretty popular, and they existed for months when the cereal first came out. The second wave of boxes started coming out around November of 1985. And the production of the cereal halted soon after that, so there aren't too many of these boxes circulating out there. Now the first of these three boxes featured Quick Kick on the front. And I'd never seen a box of this stuff in the wild, only pictures of it online. Supposedly, Quick Kick's secret mission was a Save the Cave mission. The next box was one with Flint on the front. The back of this box featured a Catch Firefly mission for Flint. And you'll notice there was a Get Your Own Starduster action figure offer. Which brings us to the last box in this wave, which featured Starduster on the front. Now, Starduster was a character introduced by Action Star Serial. In fact, the only time you ever see Starduster animated is from the commercial before, at the end, when he jumps out the door and flies away. On the back of his box, it featured a Capture the Crystal mission and then the offer to send away for a Starduster action figure. Now, inside these second wave boxes, they featured many comic books that you could collect. There were three different comics, and you kind of had to read them in order. They featured an adventure and a backstory for Starduster. Now, the serial didn't last too long. It was discontinued about a year after it was released in 1986, much to the disappointment of millions of young boys. But G.I. Joe would continue to march on in popularity with many more toys and games and even live-action movies. How about you? Were you a fan of G.I. Joe? Did you have a favorite character? Okay, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Cereal.